The European Union-funded Sustainable Energy for Rural Communities project, SE4RC, is giving poor rural communities in Zimbabwe access to modern clean energy. The project is being implemented by Practical Action in partnership with Dabani Trust and SNV in Gwanda district of Matebeleland South Province. In rural Zimbabwe, around 70% of people are not connected to the national grid, which means they lack basic services such as lighting, computers in schools, refrigeration for medicines, agricultural produce, and small businesses. They also pay for expensive dirty diesel generators. The SE4RC project will show how decentralized solar mini grids can provide clean, reliable, and affordable electricity to isolated communities, improving their health, education, and livelihoods. Mashaba Solar Mini Grid consists of 400 solar panels, each generating 255 watts. So all in all, we are generating 99 kilowatts. We also have a battery bank, which consists of 144 batteries. This is for backup, for providing power at night or, in, or during days when there's cloud cover. Now halfway through this four-year project, the Mashaba Solar Mini Grid is fully erected and one school, one clinic, two business centers, and two irrigation schemes are now connected. Going into year three, a third irrigation scheme will be connected. The benefits for local agriculture, livelihoods, education and health are becoming evident. With two more years still to go, the focus is on ensuring that the ownership and management model is finalized and on developing the productive and social end uses. Electrification of three irrigation schemes measuring over 120 hectares will enable reliable water pumping through sand abstraction from the Shashe and Tuli rivers. This will enable disused land to be brought back to life. Combined with training and technical skills on good agricultural practices and access to markets, this will move farmers from subsistence to more productive commercial farming. On the water supply infrastructure, we have jetted in eight well screens. Of the eight well screens, the four so far have been equipped with submersible pumps. Then on the infield works infrastructure, we have done rehabilitation of the canals. Half of the irrigation scheme have been rehabilitated with canals. Then the rest of the irrigation scheme will be supplied with a new irrigation system. <laughs> The <laughs> We're not in a position to buy some of the gadgets that we encourage to use by the government, especially the laptops, because we are not connected to electricity. There's no way we could charge them. But right now, as I talk, I have a laptop with me here, with, which I can charge willy-nilly and access internet where the network is in spots, then manage also to download internet pictures that I will use for my teaching and learning to the children, thereby actually improving even the pass rate. Computer, <laughs> Le few le, le transport be going cost a wooden cutting pin and pendu in we and upper, we we double price. So over manging a market lawa, one so wound honor a cool, over lentemo is a pansy, axa fan la pala. Sing a rabbit a market business saying a ham being over a mat drinks, lama lato, lama freezy, lama yoga to one at ten seed. 
ngenxa yamagets inzuzo esengithola eko Benpeli Enterprise mbona ngani sitshintshile ngoba singani sile ntuduko akusafana nla izolo singela magets The project facilitated operations and maintenance capacity building trainings for selected trainee community technicians. Umsebenzi wethu siwenza nyama ama local technician sikhangela iline esalifakayo ukuba kulomonakalo yini silungise lokuthubela abafuna ukuthubelwa ngokwenza lokho siyabhadalisa imali esisincedisa ukubhadalela abantu abethu ezikolo lokuthi sikwanise ukuzithengela ukudla the project is trying to balance commercial viability with the need to provide basic energy services for the rural poor. Developing a viable model depends on increasing communities' ability to pay cost-reflective tariffs. This will improve over the final coming two years of the project, which focus on developing small businesses, irrigation schemes and market linkages. With only 5% of rural areas in Southern Africa having access to grid electricity, the success stories from Mashaba are providing key lessons on how decentralized renewable energy systems can be a vital strategy for development in the region.